Welcome back everybody. I'm Michael Foley and in this video we're going to show you how to do a karate style sidekick. So I've been doing karate my whole life. My father opened the family dojo before I was born so I was raised doing this. The sidekick was the most important kick in our style. I use it in competitions from white belt right up to black belt division at the international level. So after almost 40 years of throwing sidekicks I've developed severe arthritis in both hips. So for this video today, I'm gonna have my student come in and help me out. This is my student and black belt, Chris Dyer. Chris just won the gold medal at the Waco Kickboxing National Championships in Niagara Falls, Ontario. He's got a fantastic sidekick. Okay, so the sidekick is typically done from a side-on stance. So unlike the kickboxing stance, where I'm a little more front-on like this, a uh, side kick is going to be thrown from mostly a side stance. So if I was say in a kickboxing stance, a little more front on, Chris would be in a side on stance. It's more of a point fighting karate style stance like you'd see Stephen Thompson Wonderboy in the UFC do. So he's on his toes, he's side on from here, and the kick is going to go underneath my elbow, just above my hip bone, he's going to hit me with his heel. I'm gonna teach you a couple of drills right now, how to build up your sidekick so that you can win national championships with the two. So this is a drill that we typically do in class. Chris is arm's length from the wall. He's just gonna rest his fingers on the wall just for a little bit of balance. The first step, it's the lift in chamber. So he's gonna lift his lead leg off the floor and pull his knee back tight to his body, but also keeping his heel pointed out. The second step is the extension. He's gonna extend it straight out, keep it level, the third step is the retraction. He brings it all the way back to that chamber. Then the fourth step is a controlled lower back to the starting position. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. And four. So typically when you're taught how to do a side kick in karate, it's done with a step. Chris is in the side on stance. He's gonna step up with his back foot, chamber's lead leg, throw the side kick, retract, put it down and step out. We wanna eliminate that step so that the opponent, me in this case, has very little indication that the kick is happening. So instead of doing a step and showing me that he's trying to move forward with the kick, the first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna do a lift with his lead leg, then he's gonna push off his back foot to cover the space and throw the kick. So if the steps for a step in side kick were to step up first, then chamber your leg before you kick, this version, you're gonna pick your leg up first, then you're gonna push off your back leg and that's your step. The other thing with this side kick is you don't wanna chamber your knee too high. You don't wanna indicate that the kick is coming. And also, it's a lot easier for me to defend the kick if the shin is up super high from here. I can see that coming, I can get out of the way. So instead of doing a high chamber with his knee, he's gonna do a low chamber, which looks kind of more like a back kick. And here's a drill we can do with that on the wall. Once you got the first version of the wall extensions down, we're gonna try a more advanced version. We're gonna count these out in twos. One is the lift, two is the kick as he leaves the wall by pushing off of his back foot. One, two, one, two. I always say this to my students, if you can't throw a technique on thin air, you'll never be able to hit a resisting opponent with it. So once you've mastered those leg chambering drills, those extension drills, and then the movement drills, you're gonna try to put this on a heavy bag with your partner. We're gonna do two versions of this. We're gonna do an offensive sidekick, and then we're gonna do a defensive sidekick. The first version is the offensive sidekick. There's two versions of this for my job as the shield holder. One where I'm stationary, I'm not moving and then one where I'm moving back. So let's look at the first one where I'm not moving. For safety's sake, here's how you hold this thing. A lot of people make the mistake of holding this tight to the front of their body here and stand front on. Now when I get kicked with this, I'm gonna get blown back this way because I'm in a bad stance and I'm taking all of it off my midsection right here. So instead, I'm gonna mirror my partner's stance. I'm gonna turn side on too. I'm gonna pull this in tight to my hip and I prefer not to use the side straps on this. I prefer to grab one corner and then the opposite corner hug it tight to my hip and instead of leaning away weakening my hip i'm going to push my hip forward so 
So now when I call for this kick, go ahead. I'm in a much better position to absorb this. Something else you have to remember, this is called a shield. The shield's there to protect me. From the striker's point of view, they're not trying to hit the surface of the shield. They're trying to blast through the shield and hit the person behind it. This is what's gonna keep me safe. For the first offensive drill, Chris is in his stance, he's side on, he's bouncing. When I yell go, he's gonna go through the movements of lifting his leg, slipping in, and hitting me with that kick. Puts his foot down and gets out quick. Distance is key, so he's gotta stay at that outside distance the whole time. One. Two. Three. The second time you use this kick offensively is when the opponent is trying to retreat. They're trying to get away. I don't recommend using this so much in a karate tournament because there's nothing on the side of the ring. There's no ropes, there's no cage. So a side kick as I'm backing out of the ring is gonna lose its effect. So if I'm backing up and there's nothing behind me and Chris is stopping with the side kick, the power is gonna dissipate. But if I have something behind my back, there's a great opportunity for this kick. I'm gonna use this wall right here to represent the cage in an MMA fight, or maybe even the ropes in a kickboxing match. Chris is stalking me down, and he sees I'm retreating, but I'm retreating into the ropes. So he's gonna stalk me down with that kick, and then he's gonna hit me with the kick, knowing that he's gonna bounce me off the ropes or the cage, which is gonna spring load me forward, and allow him to follow up with another attack like a jab cross. And the other type of sidekick we're gonna to show today is the defensive sidekick. Chris is in a stance, and maybe this time I'm advancing towards him with an attack of my own. Instead of gapping forward by picking up his lead leg and hopping off his back foot to throw that kick, what he's gonna do is he's gonna step away with his back foot as I advance and then wrap me with a side kick as I'm moving forward. Looks like this. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm Michael Foley. I'll see you on the mats.